And since this dropped right here, let's go see what it brought us. Ah, aluminum, baby. Love it. We'll take the aluminum. Absolutely. Send it to us. Titanium. Oh, shit. Did that land on our head? <laughs> or aluminum. Yay. I'll let a meteorite land on my head as long as it's going to bring me aluminum. Welcome everybody to a new series we're going to play here on the channel. We're going to do the Planet Crafter. Um, I have actually played this game before. I played it uh, not too long after it first came out. I live streamed it on Twitch. And we played it um, until about, we had, I think we got to Blue Sky and had some water starting up. And, and then I stopped playing it. I don't even remember exactly why. I think there was maybe a more uh, prominent game that came out that I was waiting for. Uh, but I've always wanted to get back into this game and, and give, it, give it the full run. And especially now that, you know, it's been updated several times. There's been, I don't know, five or six updates to the game in the last two years since I played it. I haven't watched anybody else play the game with those updates. Haven't seen them, of course, myself. So it's going to be neat uh, to experience those new things. Now, I did um, hop on and play just a little bit in the area that we're going to start in uh, just to kind of reacclimate myself to the basics of the game. So I'm not like trying to figure out what the hell to do, uh, at least at the beginning of the game. And so, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to jump in. We're going to start a new game. We're going to change a couple of things, though. Uh, we are going to give ourselves a huge challenge by setting this to intense. Now, intense basically means that you lose your inventory if you die. Um, and your oxygen, health, and water decrease faster. Um, now, that's in, that's very significant because even in the standard game, um, it can be challenging to manage your, your water and your oxygen uh, and even your food to, to some extent. Uh, so basically, we're going to use the intense settings just to give ourselves a little bit more of a challenge. The other thing we're going to do uh, differently is we're going to start at the... Um, uh, we're gonna start at this new waterfall location. So this is this is definitely new to me, and uh, I don't know when they added it, but apparently, when we finally get water in the game, we're gonna have uh, a, a big waterfall that we can enjoy. So we won't see that at first though, because of course there won't be any water in the game itself. Uh, all right, so all the rest of this stuff, these sliders are adjusted a little bit to make things a little more difficult. Um, these things we're we're gonna we're not gonna mess with because of the fact that they make the game they give you stuff early on which we don't we don't want freebies we want to earn everything okay so let's apply those settings and uh, click create and load into the game all right let's do this when you start this game you start off here in the pod um so basically you crash landed down on the planet in the pod and um we'll have some things to do in the upper left hand corner that it tells us but while we're in the pod um, we have full oxygen. So if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you can see I have 100 units of O2. But as soon as I step outside the pod, that starts to drop, and it drops rapidly. Uh, so we're going to have to really, you know, mine our oxygen. And there's going to be two important rules that we're going to follow um, as we play this game. And those rules are, at all times, and I've already broken the rule, <laughs> at all times we have one, at least one, uh, spare oxygen bottle and at least one spare water bottle in our inventory. Absolutely no exceptions to that. Okay. Um, so those are the rules. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is make ourselves a, a, a backpack to increase our inventory size. And we're going to make ourselves a tier one oxygen tank. So the backpack's going to need another piece of iron. Um, let's see. Okay. Here's an iron right there. Let's go back here. We'll create the backpack. This, these are our tech slots, so as soon as we move the backpack into the tech slot, you'll see that it opened up another uh, another spot, okay? Next thing we want to do is we want the oxygen tank, so we need another iron and two cobalts. Cobalts are easy to find. They're the blue things. Um, and this is an iron here. Let's grab that and grab this, okay? We'll head back into our the safety of our pod, create an oxygen tank, and that's going to add more units of oxygen. Uh, to us so we can stay out just a little bit longer. All right, so now our oxygen changed to 145 from 100, so we can stay out just a bit longer. All right, so that's done. Uh, now it wants us to make a construction and deconstruction microchip. Um, that's these two things. So the way that works is the hand tool that I'm using, that's the same hand tool you use throughout the entire game, but you can change its functions by adding microchips to it. Uh, so this allows us to build, this allows us to deconstruct. And one cool thing about this game is when you deconstruct something, you get all of the materials back. 
Um, and then uh, we'll also need to make this flashlight, especially when we go explore our first derelict. Okay, so uh, let's focus on this one first. We need two magnesium. And uh, so we'll make the constructor first and then we'll make the deconstructor. Whilst we're out and about, let's add, just kind of start gathering more stuff too. Okay, there's a blue chest over there. We're going to go loot that. We'll find those kind of scattered throughout the world. And uh, what those will do for us is they'll give us more seeds for oxygen. And if we're really lucky, they might give us some space food too. Because food, I think, guys, is going to be the biggest uh, bane to our existence until we get to the point where we can start making it ourselves. And that's going to be a little while. So that's going to be our number one overall goal. Um is to get to the place where we can start making food as soon as as possible okay let's make the construction chip let's make the oh we need another magnesium for the deconstruction so we're going to pop that over there um let's put this extra stuff in here um and we can also build um doo -doo 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 -doo, give me another iron we can build another uh storage thingy oh they don't let you they don't let you put another storage thing in here huh Wow. Okay, never mind then. We're going to have to build our own habit, habitat um, module uh, to, to put our own storage down. So that is definitely the next priority um, after we make this. So we just need one more magnesium. Um, the game will have these storms and it'll send meteorites in. And those meteorites will um, have resources in them ores and different things that we can loot. Uh, so the meteorites are our friend as long as they don't actually hit our base because, you know, if they hit your base, it's not a good idea. Damn, those were close. And actually, I don't even know if those if those can hit your base. I mean, they can, but I don't know if they destroy them or not. Uh, okay, let's make the deconstruction chip. Yes, it is very loud. And later, as soon as we make our tier two crafting station, um, this thing here, we'll be able to expand this. All right, so let's see here. We probably better do that next just because I have no more room to store things. And uh, so what we want is we want it to have, um, uh, we need iron, titanium, and some silicon. So let's just grab that stuff now. And we need to go find some silicon. We're going to keep the space food in there for now until we absolutely need it. And all right. The ores that these meteorites are dropping, um, they'll stick around and we can loot them later so we don't have to grab them immediately. Uh, what are we doing? We're looking for silicon. Hey, look at that silicon right there. Okay. Um, so to make a, a living compartment, we need two iron and a titanium, and we need a door, uh, which is iron, titanium, and silicon. I'm also going to use a, a, a foundation grid to put the building on just to raise it up off the ground a little bit because you can sometimes run into trouble with, um, you know, the terrain. If the terrain's too high when you try to expand your base, it, you, it blocks you, um, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but it's the way the game works. Just gonna grab a couple more of these while we're while while they're easy to get. Okay, so um, let's replenish our oxygen. <clears throat> now I'm gonna set up a temporary base. It's not gonna be our permanent base. But we're gonna set up a temporary base just right in this valley because there are so many nearby resources. But from my scouting, um, in you know when I played. Uh, did my test playthrough right over there is a really nice flat area and that will become our permanent base once we kind of get our, our feet under us oh nice okay so we will find these um, these blue chests throughout the world and I think I may have already mentioned that but if I didn't um, that will have extra supplies in it that we we're gonna need so if we're really lucky we'll find some space food uh, we'll find seeds in there in this case we found iridium which is pretty rare at the beginning and we found a microchip too, which is really, really good. Uh, we won't be able to do anything with that with that quite yet, though. Um, here, let's grab that titanium. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to be 
somewhat centralized, but clo somewhat close to that, too. Um, okay, yeah, there's that blue crate over there. But it needs to be sort of semi-flat, too, where we're going to go. So we could probably do what we need to do in here. This might be a better spot here, though. What's in this chest? Oh, nice. We got space food and some extra seeds and iridium. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's really good. All right, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to just set up our first build here. So let's... um. Let's put a foundation down, and um, we'll keep it up about that high, I guess. And I'm not too worried about how this looks or anything. Um, we just want something that we can start surviving in. Uh, we will build a really nice, well-organized, awesome base later on. Uh, but for now, it's just about getting something that we can survive. Okay. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to expand this out... Uh, one that way and one that way. We're going to need two more irons and a titanium to go uh, to the other direction. Let's grab this too. We should be able to expand out there without uh, running into to that guy. Good. Okay. So this is this is what we're going to start with, and we will expand this as time you know as time goes on. Next thing we want to do is we want to set up this tier two crafting station. We need another piece of iron uh, for that. We'll just grab it out of here. We'll put this right here, uh, just right by the door. And from here we can make an exoskeleton, which will uh, open us up some uh, extra slots, so that we can then also make the flashlight. Now, can I grab all of that? Not quite. All right, so, mm, yeah, we got another iron there, so let's do this. Let's set up our first crafting, uh, or, sorry, our first storage, and I'm going to I'm gonna turn these sideways just to maximize our space. Uh, I won't be doing janky stuff like that in our in our permanent build, um, but for now, we just, we need to, every freaking edge that we can get. Let's grab that aluminum, that's good, and then we're going to, we can deconstruct this for another piece of iron. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, we're going to need to drink pretty soon, but we do have our our required uh, thingy of water in there. And so I'm just going to grab a few more resources right near the base here. And the next thing it's, we're going to need to do is we need to put down a windmill or a wind turbine, I should say. Uh, so that we can have um, some power. All right. Let's replen our oxygen. And I'm going to... I'm going to make another chest. There. Let's drink this right now. And then we'll use a piece of ice to make another water bottle. Okay. We can sort the inventory there. Let's make another storage chest. We're gonna make make a million of these, a million billion zillion. And I'm not really too concerned about keeping things organized at the start. Uh, we'll worry about that later, and we will do it. Uh, we will make things nice and neat when the time comes. Okay, so now, um, uh, wind turbine. Okay, so let's kind of use this area over here uh, for. And maybe even behind the base. Well, no, nah, we need a little bit of room to expand behind. Ooh, even if we can, actually. See, we might have trouble with the terrain there. Well, we'll, we'll worry about that when the time comes. Again, this is our temporary base. We're not too terribly worried about those sorts of things right now. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and put in our first wind turbine. We need a piece of iron for that. We need iron for all kinds of stuff. We need silicon a lot. Iron and silicon are... Uh, can be challenging to come by in the early game um, in terms of, you know, getting enough of it to do everything you need to do. You need all of it, but, yeah. You know, you know what we could actually do with this base, if we needed to, is we could actually expand that direction. Or we could just make it one long-ass base, which that would be kind of jank, so I don't think we'll do it that way. 
All right, so let's go ahead and set up our first wind turbine. Um, we'll just put that there, and then that gives us power. All right, the game also wants us to, to do a drill, um, and we have everything we need, so let's put the drills... I want to do this in a somewhat organized fashion. So we'll line up the drills with the wind turbine, uh, but put them over there. Now we need to make another turbine, except for we need more iron. So the way the the kind of the early game loop works here is that you you build the next thing you need for terraforming, and then you run out of power. So then you have to build more power, and then you build the next thing you need for terraforming, and then you run out of power. So you have to build more power, <laughs> etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's kind of fun though. I mean, I really like the. Uh, one of the best things about this game, and by the way, it does have an overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam, if you didn't know that already, uh, is just the, the just the game loop. Um, that That's one of the things that's so satisfying about playing this game. Um, okay, so we got the two things of power in place. The other thing it wants us to do is a heater. Uh, let's get that done since we do have some iridium, um, and that'll help warm start to warm up the environment. Uh, you know what, though? Um, but... but, 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 but we're going to need a little more room because this whole area over here is going to be taken up with storage. The middle area is going to be our food once we can do it. And the, the areas over here will be for oxygen and heat. So, yeah, we need to uh, expand the base out just a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, let's go after some... Oh, we wanted to make uh, the, uh, the flashlight, too. What do we need for that? We need a silicon and two magnesiums. Look at that. Made to order, baby. We put that in our slots. Oh, we got to make the exoskeleton too. Titanium, silicon, magnesium. Uh, titanium, silicon, magnesium. There we go. Um, let's make this. We put this in here, and it gives us more slots. And then we can put that in there, and then we can sort stuff too. All right, now we have a flashlight. It's not a super great flashlight, but it's absolutely essential when we go um, do the wrecks. Because it's pretty much pitch black inside those wrecks. Okay, let's pick um, this stuff up. But we're really looking for magnesium, iron, and some more silicon. Because I want to expand the base just a little bit more before we start setting down um, some of our, our crafting stations. That we're, oh, nice. Aluminum. Yeah, we need that for sure. Absolutely need aluminum. Some titanium. We have our two required bottles of of life, right? In our inventory. No exceptions, man. No exceptions. Now, I want to see if I can actually go back one more here. I might not uh, I might not be able to. Replenish our O2. Yeah, see, we're clipping into the train. Damn it, Jim. Okay. Well, then that means we're gonna go this way. We're gonna we're gonna change this up and we're gonna build um, out. So I gotta think about this for a minute. Um, do I have enough to make another? I do. Okay. Let's uh, let's put this one in place. And then we're just going to have to pull that one out. So I'm going to temporarily deconstruct our door and put it over here. And let's also um, deconstruct this foundation. And we'll, 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 put, we'll worry about putting that down later. Okay, what do we need to do one more of this? We need one more iron and one more titanium. Okay. And then I'm going to have to move, there we go. I'm going to have to move some of this stuff too. Okay. Let's put that in place. And then I want the door in the center. All right. Now, will it let me make a stairs? Oh. I guess I can get up there without jumping. What if we... Here, let's... Go. Do we have one more iron? Yeah, damn, iron is just so hard to come by. Okay. Um, let's put all this stuff in here. 
I'm going to be moving these o over to here though. So, excuse me, I don't really want to put too much more in those. We do have one thing of food over here. The rest is, yeah, okay, so we got that. So we're just going to sit on that. Um, and what, what else was I thinking? I don't remember what else I was thinking. Okay. Actually, you know what? On second thought, this isn't going to fill our bar all the way up, so let's just eat it now. Um, and, and that way we, you know, we don't have to worry about it for the moment. Okay, let's put all this stuff in here. All right, we need to go get more iron, as usual. And a little more titanium and some silicon, too. But we'll grab pretty much just about everything that's in the immediate vicinity. Well, maybe not absolutely everything, because we have no room to store shit until we get more iron. So we really need to prioritize the iron. I think that's an iron right there. Here we go. Uh, well, yeah, we need silicon, too. A little more titanium. Okay, let's grab this. And we better hoof it back so we don't have to use our O2 bottle. We don't want to use that unless we absolutely have to. Good, okay. Now, what I want to do here is, can I... Can this be sunk into the ground? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay, so let's turn it this way. Uh, that's all the lower down it lets me take it, but... Well, that actually works nice. Okay. I love it. Um, okay. Do we have another piece of iron? We do. Let's move this over to here. And let's create a storage for here and we'll put it right there we'll move all of this shit into this storage deconstruct you recreate you Infor inventory at all times. No exceptions. Absolutely no exceptions. Uh, oh, something's still in here. One thing of a thingy of aluminum. All right, set this here. Uh, nope. We've got to go back just a little further. We were one one notch out too far. Right there. There we go. Okay. Just looking to see if... Okay. Um, we're going to make another water. Because we're going to need to consume one of these very soon. All right. Let's see. Uh, heater is the next thing. Actually, no. Let's do the veggie tube next. That's actually more important than the heater. Because that's going to get us started with our oxygen production. Oh, look at that, tier two oxygen tank. Actually, that's the priority. Uh, silicon, cobalt, titanium, and two mags. Silicon, cobalt, titanium, and two magnesiums. Absolutely fan freaking tastic Okay. Um, so that just automatically replaces our tier one. Now we have 200 units of O2 before we had 145. So that's a huge, huge upgrade for us. I love it. Okay, now back to the veggie tube. Um, we need iron, ice, and mag for that, but we're also gonna need uh, another thing of power because it's gonna tank our power. I just happen to know that. So let's go hunting for more iron. Oh, take the water. Phew, that was close. Okay. We need iron, silicon. We'll take all of this stuff, but we need the iron, baby. Uh, looks like there's an area over there we can go explore when the time comes. And, you know, we'll eventually exhaust all of these resources around the base, but the meteorites will keep bringing us more, so that's the nice thing about how that works. Later on, we'll be able to make an ore extractor, and then it'll just automatically get ore for us, but uh, early on, you know, we have to kind of rely upon those meteorites. Inventory's full. 
Oh, it's so nice to have more O2. Okay, let's put another wind turbine down. There's no way to snap those, so you just have to eyeball them. Grab this mag. And we're full. Okay. Now, um, do we have everything we need to make our first thingy? Yes, we do. Okay. Now, we're going to keep these guys over here in this compartment. And we're going to grab uh, our seeds. We throw the seeds in there, and then this will start generating oxygen for us. And we're, you know, as much as we can, we want to prioritize oxygen generation because that's the thing that's going to get us to the food processor as soon as possible. We, we can't completely ignore heaters and, uh, you know, drills and that sort of thing either, but uh, we really want to work on the oxygen. Now, uh, speaking of heaters, let's go ahead and get ourselves a heater crafted. However, that is almost certainly going to tank our power again. So let's put yet another wind turbine down. And since this dropped right here, let's go see what it brought us. Ah, aluminum, baby. Love it. We'll take the aluminum. Absolutely. Send it to us. Titanium. Oh, shit. Did that land on our head? <laughs> or aluminum. Yay. I'll let a meteorite land on my head as long as it's going to bring me aluminum. <coughs> All right. You know what? We have a problem, actually. We have a big problem. I'm not paying attention. We're almost out of food, and we don't have any more food here at the base. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to drop all this stuff off in here. And we got to hoof it back to uh, the pod to get that, that other food. Man, I could have sworn that meteorite landed right on top of our noggin. Look at all the resources they're bringing us, though. That's awesome. It's kind of scary, too. All right, let's grab everything out of here. We don't need to keep anything else over here. And we'll head back to the base. Do I have... I have room for a couple more things. Uh, so, iron in particular. Whoa, that was weird. Pick that up. We'll grab those. Okay, um, let's make another storage chest. We'll put all this stuff in here. Um, we'll eat that at the very last second, just because we got to stretch that out stuff out as much as possible. All right, let's do a heater next. Um, so we need an iridium, an iron, and a silicon. There's an iron, an iridium, and a silicon. That also has to be indoors. Um, okay, let's eat. And did I set up another another windmill for this or a wind turbine? I don't know. We're going to find out in a second. Yes, I did. Okay, nice. So now we're generating heat to start heating up the planet. One microscopic step, but hey, it's a step in the right direction. Good. Okay, so we have a drill for pressure. We got a heat for a heater for heat, and we've got an, a veggie tube for O2. Now we want to make as many veggie tubes as we have seeds for, because we really got to crank up that um, that oxygen production so we can get to food production. Okay, so we have two more seeds currently available. That means we need to make two more of these. That also means we're going to need more power to support them. Um, here, we'll put those back in there for the moment. Uh, so first order of business is to go out and get more, guess what, iron. I know, that's hard to believe, isn't it? Um, we should probably, I'm going to make kind of a soft rule that we should probably carry that around too. It's just that we're so limited on space, but, uh, we don't want to get caught out. You know what I mean? Uh, we just don't. Okay. Let's find some more iron. Hopefully our meteorite friends dropped more iron for us, or we'll just, you know, find what's out on the ground. So we need a total of three pieces of, uh, no, four, five pieces of iron. Two for two more turbines. No, four pieces, right, okay. 
Looks like, oh nice, we got a big collection of iron here. Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely phantasmagorical. We'll grab some titanium. We might as well grab this stuff too. And we're already out of space. Okay. Maybe some more iron and possibly aluminum over there too. Game's being pretty generous with the meteorites and I'm not complaining. See, and I'm, I don't know where the waterfall's actually going to come in once it once we have it. I wonder if it would come off that mountain. That would look so cool. Look really cool. Okay. Um, O2's back up. Let's put two more turbines down. Turbines. And I, I'm putting these all kind of in a nice neat row because pretty soon we're going to have um, we're going to be able to upgrade to better power sources and we'll keep each one of them in their own row just to kind of keep things relatively nice and neat. All right, can we make a new tube? Yes. Okay, so let's make our next little tube here. I'm actually going to keep these along this wall just because I will eventually replace them with better ones, and I don't want to bury them. Uh, let's see, we want a Lerma seed. Okay, good. So we just doubled our oxygen production. We still have one more seed, which means we want to make one more veggie tube. Do I have everything I need to make that? I need a piece of ice. Okay, let's grab that ice there. And, you know, our MO here is as soon as we find more seeds from looting crates, or we, we'll probably find some when we go do the derelict ship, um, we immediately make more oxygen uh, or veggie tubes for oxygen. Because, again, that's our highest priority. Okay, good. Um, Before we wrap up this first episode, let's see if we can get our screens made. So we need a terraformation screen, a blueprint screen, and a progress screen. Uh, so let's start with the, it doesn't really matter. we got to do them all. So we need an iron, a cobalt, and a silicon for the terraformation screen. Uh, cobalt and a, we already got the silicon. Let's put some of this titanium in here. Do I have more iron? Yeah, it's always the iron, man. Always the freaking iron. Okay. we got our requisite stuff. Let's go get more iron. I think I may have seen some over here. There's one piece. There's some iron. We'll grab the silicon too since it's right next to it. Oh wow, look at that. That's going to be cool, exploring that area. Let's also grab this ice. Oh, nice. T2 backpack. Okay, so the way progression works, by the way, I don't know if I covered this or not, is that when you... Uh, oh, there's another chest. Beautiful. As your terraformation index rises, and we can see that... In, oh, nice. This These are great... Super good find. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put uh, you back away so we can grab both of those. Uh, these will generate even more O2 than our current plants will. Uh, anyways, as your terraformation index itself rises and as your O2 rises, your heat and your pressure, um, you it start, it unlocks new blueprints. Uh, so that's what just happened there. We, we got a, the next backpack because our terraformation index... Um, you know, rows, rows and points. And these monitors that we're going to set up are going to actually show us that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually repl... Uh, well, I need some room first. Um, let's actually make the first screen just to free up some inventory space. Okay, we're going to just put this on the wall here for now. And that's kind of like a summary of how we're doing in terms of our indexes. Um, we also need to make the blueprint screen, which I think I'm going to put that... Um, I, I'm just going to kind of put them in jank spots for, to maximize space for now. Uh, we'll put these on desks and make them nice and neat later on. And then for magnesium, uh, there's a mag right there. And we'll put the power screen. Um, let's turn it this way. 
And we need water. Quick. Whew. Okay. Make, make another water. All right. So this shows us our blueprints. So as the terraformation index, the oxygen, the heat, the pressure, all those things increase, it, it begins to unlock things. And what we're after is this food grower. So we've got to get to uh, 12 parts per something. I don't know what the T stands for of oxygen to get this thing unlocked. Um, and right now we are at 126, uh, or sorry, uh, point 36, right? So, so we need to get that to 12, uh, before we can, um, well, actually, no, I think we need to get it to 1200 or 12,000. Yeah. Uh, in order to, to unlock that. Okay, this tells us how much power we have, so we can now check and see how much power is currently available to know if we need more power before we start building other things, which is super handy. And what I want to do now is I want to swap out the Lerma seeds with the Shanga seeds. And the reason being is because these generate 100% oxygen, these generate 150%. It's a multiplier. Uh, so that'll even do more. And then we'll still we'll still use these. We'll build two more um, oxygen thingamadoodles to put those in. All right, guys, I think this is a good spot for us to uh, wrap up the first episode. Uh, and so I'm, I'm, you know, there's a, as you can see, there's a lot of gathering and stuff that has to happen in this game, but I'm probably not going to do a whole lot of off camera stuff just because, you know, um, things kind of happen as they happen. Um, so, uh, you know, I'll try, I'll try and, you know, judiciously edit some of that gathering now, but there's, you know, it's just kind of the nature of the game. So. You know, uh, we, we have to kind of show a lot of that on camera just so we don't capture important milestones uh, in the game. So with that being said, we're going to save the game here and I'm actually going to exit the game just so the clock stops ticking. And uh, with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of The Planet Crafter. And I'm very excited to continue on and seeing if we can get to that uh, that food processor, uh, hopefully without too many deaths. If we're super, super, super incredibly lucky, Maybe we'll get to it without any deaths, but don't count on that. All right. Thanks. See you later. Bye.